What's up guys? All right, I'm heading down to a new boat landing. New to me, it's pretty old, but they re renovated it not too long ago and I'm gonna head out there and we're gonna do a float from point A to point B. I've got my car and I've got, we're gonna have Matt's car. We're gonna load one down at the bottom of where we're getting out, one at the top where we're getting in. And we're gonna float down, fish the whole section and hopefully we can hooked up on some big ones. All right guys, this is the landing that I'm parking my car at. I'm waiting for Matt to get here so that I can load all that stuff back onto his car so we can hopefully go ahead and get started on the other part of it. This is where we're gonna be getting out is the main thing of what I'm trying to say. But while I'm waiting for Matt, I'm gonna tie on this fluke real quick and I'm gonna see if I can get anything to bite while I'm here. Not sure if you guys can see those two birds flying around, but that's two bald eagles. Uh, oh, they just hit the water. That's awesome. Oh, one sitting in the water. Is that three? Thought I had a bite for a second, but three bald eagles. That's crazy. All right, guys, we're here with Matt finally. It only took him an hour and a half, but it's fine. Like an hour. Yeah, about an hour. We're heading down to the spot where we're getting in, and hopefully, it won't take us too long to float down. But. Knowing us, it'll take us 14 hours. Huh? <laughs> All right, guys, we are launched. Hopefully, it's still in normal time. Yep, we're on normal time. We are launched, and hopefully, we don't stay on the river for too long. Last year, we were very bad about staying on the river for too long during this time of year. But hopefully we get hooked up on a big one. We'll see how it goes. Guys, I just saw a small mouth hit this thing and I set the hook too early. Probably like 14. Hopefully didn't mess it up. Nope. Dang. Oh, that gets me going though. Got, oh, he came off. I need a bigger hook. <laughs> All right, guys, I upped the hook size. It should fix my problem. Right, guys so i'm switching to the chatterbait right now because the water's really calm right here i'm not feeling the fluke I haven't gotten a hit since the non-calm water i've been seeing a few things hit the water hit the top of the water hit the water I've seen a few things hit the surface so i went ahead and tied on a spook and i could be a dumb thing to do right now, but I've seen about four things hit the surface. One of them was a big carp, but the other ones were smaller. Could have been bass or panfish. Either way, something's hit the surface. Oh, there we go, guys. First cast. Matt, top water. My hunch was correct. First cast. First little guy of the day, guys. Guys, I just saw another bald eagle. That is the fifth today. That's crazy. What is that in there? I don't know what that was. Whatever, it's fine. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because I thought it would look good with the wheel. But I think with the rod, it would look better with yellow. It's like gold. Yeah, it's like gold. Where'd that go? Right there, duh. Right where I was casting. Obviously. Totally doesn't have still alive leaves on it. Oh yeah, well watch this. I'm gonna catch a fish. That was a good cast. I don't care what you say. It's good. Way better than mine. Not that bad. Making another switch, guys. Picked up the jig. Only because the area that I'm fishing isn't too deep and it's pretty rocky, so. Should work out well with the uh, clarity. I've got the peanut butter jelly color tied on. So that should help me out a lot. Visibility wise. Well, Matt flipped his boat. <laughs> He's okay, it looks like. Heard him yell from around the bend and I was like, oh no. Thankfully this other guy was here, he made sure he was okay first. I think he's okay though. I think he's just looking for his stuff. As you can't see, I am paddling with a net because trying to get Matt's kayak, my boat just overtook a ton of water. I didn't lose anything except for my paddle, but the paddle's not lost. Well, I also lost my seat, but the paddle's not lost. It's on Matt's boat, which they finally got out. They got my paddle too, so we're good. All right, guys. Matt lost a lot of stuff. I lost my seat. Didn't lose any rods. Matt lost three out of four of his rods that he brought, which is terrible. Thankfully, we had a nice man help us. Yeah. That was scary. The only reason I even lost, I don't know how I lost my seat. Like, I don't know how it came off my raft, but I got caught on Matt's kayak. So I was holding onto the kayak so my boat wouldn't go under it. And I forced it out. Somehow my seat came off. Everything else was fine. Just my seat came off. <laughs> and my shoes, but my shoes were in the front. That makes sense. But we got it out. I don't know, how did he get it out? What? The kayak. How did he get it? Didn't it just break loose? I didn't do anything to it. Unless maybe the force of me, like, maybe that's how I got off of it. I pushed the, I pushed it, and, it just, and the might, anchor just came out. My knot might have just gone. Maybe I don't know what happened, but I don't know. We're all safe though. That's what's important. Always wear your life vest. We're back on the water, everyone. I don't think we're gonna be doing any more fishing. Once we get to the bank, I'm gonna let Matt tell the story of how it happened and why it happened because I was actually around the bend when it happened. I just heard him yell my name. So I paddled as fast as I could over, but we're all good. I lost my seat, Matt lost a lot more than that. I'll let him tell the story. Two more bald eagles, total of seven. Matt, how many rods have you lost today? Uh, two, but this one, this one's broken, but it's got a warranty, so. Really it looks fun. so funny. It's mag sealed. <laughs> It's okay. So. It's all good, guys. He only lost $700 worth of gear, uh. counting his phone. Yeah. No, my phone's probably more than that. How much? I, I'm, I'm probably $500. Plus your phone. Fish and stuff. Mm. I've got my, I got my $200 paddle that I just bought. Well, I'll let you tell them, like, after we get off. Okay. Yeah. We loaded back up. Matt's gonna go pick up the other car so we can load both kayaks. I'm gonna go fish with his broken rod. This is what happened to his Fenwick. So, but he has a warranty on this one, so it's okay. The reel's completely fine. The reel's mag sealed, so it should be fine. Guys, I was just messing around, waiting for Matt. And of course, 
I hook up on a little smolly. Not gonna complain or anything about him. Glad to catch him. Kind of feel bad though because it's on math rod. But, ooh, he got hooked right next to the eyeball. Oh, let me get that out of there. Oh, it's in the eyeball. Actually, his eyeball is already gone. He has no eyeball, guys. Just realized that. He has no eyeball. Yeah. I feel bad for him. He has no eyeball. It's all right, though. He'll be okay. He was able to catch that lure right there, so we will be all right. Bye, little guy. All right, so Daniel's making me explain what happened. And basically we were coming down the river. I was always ahead of him. And I talked to this guy that was on the bank and he told, he said that there were some fish in the riffle I was about to go through. So I go down there and I'm trying to anchor on the side, like in the eddy, right next to the riffle. I didn't realize how big the riffle was. Um, and I was starting to drop my anchor and it caught on the bottom. I didn't mean for it to, to actually catch the bottom, but I had it out and I was like holding the, the rope and I was about to drop it and let it go. Um, but I hadn't moved my anchor trolley to where it would be coming from the, the front. So it caught and I got yanked and it pulled my boat upside down and I got like caught in the anchor trolley rope and I was like holding on to the bottom of my boat. And then I like, I think just jumped out somehow. I just like got out and like swam down and started grabbing all my stuff that was floating away. And the guy that had told me about the riffle saw and heard me yell for Daniel. And he came out with his kayak and helped me grab some of my stuff. And then Daniel came out, he came down and was trying to get it unstuck. And he got caught up against the boat because of the current and he almost flipped he was pretty close to flipping and he lost his seat which he didn't have strapped in for some reason uh, but he didn't lose anything else you didn't have yours strapped in. <laughs> I, yeah I didn't have mine strapped in either uh, but I lost I had I brought three rods out and I lost my like $300 bait caster my what 250 something something spinning rod that I just bought a few weeks ago I've got my most expensive uh, Fenwick broken the rod butt is broken but I, that can go out for warranty and the reel is sealed so it should be fine um, and then I lost my phone I lost my Oakley sunglasses I lost my favorite hat my tackle box I, I got my soft plastic bag because it floated um, but I lost my all my terminal tackle I lost my net which I'd had for like three years. Oh, those are expensive. Yeah, nets are expensive. But yeah, so, and we, we, we got off. Uh, the dude helped us and he let us sit for a minute and told us where we were on the river. And then we just continued down. And now we're back at the landing and he's just strapping his boat down, so. Well guys, I'd say that was an eventful trip. Um, Yeah, we're lucky that we didn't get hurt and not anything else that we really, really needed got lost. Matt lost fishing gear and his phone. Got his phone replaced with insurance, so that's okay. But I'm glad we didn't lose our wallets or our keys or anything like that that we really absolutely needed. But hopefully he can get his stuff back soon. I want you guys to meet our little new puppy. Come here, Josie. Well, she's gonna go explore. But if you like this video, um, just yell at us in the comments. Uh, always wear your life vest. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.